Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we have Blue Science. Oh my god, this is great. Sorry, that's exciting. <laughs> we we have Blue Science and this is fantastic. Um, uh, we are really in a good spot right now um, because we, <laughs> we have Blue Science. Yeah. Every other science from here is quite easy. Um, I think blue is the most difficult science, so it's definitely something you can celebrate. We have a lovely number of red chips happening. This is kind of great. I'm going to go ahead and pull this belt just a little bit further, get a little bit more belt storage. And um, so it's ready to, to go into here. Oh, I messed up here. Somebody mentioned that actually, and I forgot to take a look at it. And now I'm going to pay the price, but it's fine. It is fine. It will be fine. Do not worry. Uh, okay, so let's do a calculated this and that. Nice. And then I'll just grab whatever is on here and then put these green circuits in other thingies whatever might need them and we're done. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so that means we're going to get this stuff going on soon. We're going to get, we need the lubricant and that's going to give us access to be making blue belts as well. Uh, do we see them on the schedule here? What is this? Advanced railway. Whoa. Do we want this? Do we want to retrofit every station again? Oh, I don't want to cry. Please don't make me cry again. I don't even know if this is needed, actually. I'm actually wondering if that's needed because if we can carry those, you know, little containers and then we can just add more cars. They're short cars. We can just add more, you know, let's be practical and not fix everything. <laughs> uh, there is some amount of cry, I have to admit. Wait, where's the blue stuff? <gasps> we have, we need purple to get blue? Really? Whoa. Okay, well, let's get the things needed to get purple because we do need to start going to the next research. That is kind of needed. Okay, so we're getting electric furnaces, which is probably a component of purple science in this mod pack. Oh... Look at this. We need uranium. Sounds like we need to go on a trip. Yarp. Okay. We are going to go on a boat trip today because we need to find uranium. And I don't know where it comes from, whether it's from... I've, I've, I've read that there's some like patches in the sea. Is that one of them? Sea mount. <gasps> Aha! A sea mount. Okay. Uh, question mark. How does that work? Is it in here? I want to find out. Okay. I want to find out a thing. So if I pick a filter inserter, look at the filters. I want to see fast container loaders. Those sound really good. Do we have the charging and discharging stations? We have beacons. Oh, we needed to do energy. Of course. Uh, what else do we have? Dredging, dredging platform. Where do we get that? Okay. Where's that come from? T, come back here. Dredging. Dredging. Yo. Recover polymetallic nodules from sea mounts and process them into infinite resources. That sounds incredibly useful. Let's look at FNEI and figure out how to get uranium. Uh, craft. Not craft. Okay, this comes from a drill. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where, what do we get from a seamount? Oh, pardon me. I just had to have a sip of tea. Tea is so nice. Okay, there's a couple little bits of oil there. I think we need to get the, the thingy. Uh, or... Alternatively, there is a thing called a hovercraft. And this apparently is much faster. OK, 
Okay, what if we did this first? Uh, titanium? Wait, where does that come from? We gotta figure out where titanium comes from. Might have to do more exploring. Alright, titanium... Okay, comes from a drill. That still doesn't tell me if it's like a seamount drill. These dredging bits. Lead plate, refined concrete, landfill, and pump jacks. Okay, so I'm going to start making refined concrete right now. Because that's going to be a need. Let's see, how do you make that? Okay, it takes steel plate, iron sticks, concrete, and water. Alright, so I feel like I have put these in the wrong direction. So I'm going to quickly make some more steam engines because we're having a disaster. A uh, slight disaster. Let's see, we're going to make... How many? We have two. I think we have ten boilers in each section. I think it's twenty that we can put in. So one, two, three, four. And we will now proceed to get a lot of... Yeah, iron. We need... Forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then... Yeah, this is fun. Of course, we... This is the land before undergroundy pipes. Such a strange idea. Okay. I'm gonna put these on this side, I think. Um, these actually can share one water source. I don't think it's actually that necessary. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Oh, we have new problems now. We have new problems. Okay. So we we had a spiral of doom, <clears throat> which has in turn caused us to now not have any <laughs> any of this. Oh, this is not great. Okay, so this is going to be for later land, obviously. <clears throat> Uh huh. So this doesn't work because we don't have enough. And we'll take these. Wait, why did I do this? this seems really bad. It does, doesn't it? Hmm. Why did I do this? I was not thinking correctly, apparently. Oh, it's because this up here. Right. Hmm. I should have left it as it was, I think. Yeah, I think I'll do this instead. Makes a little bit more sense to me. Oh, whoops. I think I might get rid of the yellow belts and just move these up. So it's a pain to carry both sets of belts around and then have little tag-ons and that kind of thing. Let's just go shopping for a tiny bit first. Uh, okay. 
put in any stragglers. Just tiny bits here and there, really. We have so much lead. Okay, here we go. Forgot that I had that there. That's pretty handy. <clears throat> So, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, we were <laughs> we were doing things over here. <laughs> uh-huh. I was waiting for stuff to craft, I think that's what I was doing. Okay, so I want to I don't know why that's going up there. But I, oh, that's for concrete. Of course it is. Okay, so what I want to do is build. Let's get out our steam engine from the book just so I can get a proper whole thing sorted out. Oh, whoops. Okay, like right here. Put this, say, there. And then, is it G? It is G. Cool. And then I'll just upgrade this belt in here. got stuck momentarily there. Did it go for the whole belt? Almost. Okay, nice. So why did it... Oh, because this is a full uh, array. Of course it is. Um, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to need some more... I'm going to go and grab more pipes. We don't have to craft that part of it. And I need more coal for sure. I guess I can toss in some, or not, as the case may be. Okay, um, let's get pipes. Okay, things are going. Do we have power poles? We do. Okay, great. I think we're good. Oh, and I forgot to get... You know what? This is the most important part, really, because all we actually need is water. Um, as long as we have the things that will pass the water through, then we're pretty good. So let's get two of these. Come on. The hunt for the thing. There it is. It's always in a weird spot. Okay. So now I want to take this power up here. We'll just use big power poles because that makes more sense. Okay. And I'm going to Prioritize things where there's actually steam engines here. Oh, let's upgrade these power poles as well. Nope, they don't upgrade? Okay, that's weird. Let's fix that then. This to that, please. Very good. That's strange that it's not a natural upgrade. Okay, so I'm going to put coal in the boilers that have... Uh, thingies in them. Oh, no! That's not what I wanted, dude. We really need to get more coal on the line. Okay, now most of it's gone. Let's see. Can I grab some from here? Okay, that's good. Let's get that started then. And then we'll work on getting all of the other bits uh, sorted out. 
Let's go ahead and start the other boilers down here too. Oh, they're already getting started. This is good. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to get us up to almost full production. Okay, nice. So that's going to give us much more coal. We probably need to put this on a red belt. Let's get this sped up as well. Because I think... Oops. Okay, there we go. I forgot if this uses a full yellow belt or a full red belt. Kind of not sure. Let's see, get these guys going on here. Actually, I'm going to copy this entire group. Oh, uh, that was not good. Try it again. Didn't leave sufficient room for power poles, evidently. That's better. Okay, that's nice. Do, 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 do. Checking edges. Yep, we're good. Okay, put that one in there, and then what do we do about this? This is exactly three. This is not good. I guess we might need to just do some reshuffling here. Something like this. That's pure, so that won't work there. Tiny mess here. Oh, whoops. Should go this way. Do that. Okay, very good. Now we have things working. This is better. All right, I'm going to go and get more the uh more this stuff. This white sheet metal, iron. Okay, 1 2 3 4. I don't remember if that's as many as we need or do we need another 20? I don't actually know. Let's see. It says 20 here, but what's going on? Oh, really? How did that get an ideal? And then I want to make the refined concrete as well because that's something that we're going to need for those platforms. So we're on the uranium, uranium processing. We can actually start to switch over now to having lubricant, which we will um, be able to make uh, in oil. Gosh, we have so many projects going on. There's a lot to do. 
Um, I'm going to change these inserters from uh, let's see from this to make them yellow. They won't need to be any higher level than yellow at all. Okay, we're definitely short on these. Okay, let's go back and get more. I guess we need another 20. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's... Ah, we need to have, of course, power poles here. There we go. So our power levels are now, we're using about 55% power or a little bit less. So while we're, while we're making the rest of these, we're not in any power danger right now. I would like to go and do the crafting for this stuff because I think that's important. Um, what I'm gonna do is we'll put in a belt here. Just put it in through the middle here. And these can just put on the belt. Um, we'll have this one go to feed both sides. So we needed iron and we needed uh, steel, as I recall. So we can put this down here maybe. So let's put in a maker belt, okay? Then a maker of irony stuff. Let's the sticks, I think. This one is going to make refined concrete. Oh, and it needs water as well, really? Oh god. Okay. Fine. Okay, control X. We could put them Ooh, you know what? I'm going to keep them up here. So the first thing we're going to need is to get... I guess we can do that one here too. Uh, all right, so now these concrete bricks can come in here. I think we can do it like that, maybe. I don't know how much distance we can get. We can't get much, actually. Um, they're going to have to move. Oops. I'm going to try to put some back in these boxes here. Wow, they just keep getting made. Holy fuzzy cats. I'll just feed them in. Okay, so these can just be lengthened. And then I think we just need steel, right? Yes. So steel is over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in something like this. Since it can't reach all the way, that'll have to do. Okay, nice. And then what shall we do with the output? I guess what I can do is something like this, maybe. Um, just put it in a box. Okay. 
And then these guys will just be... Like that. Okay. And I think what I'll do with the re extra concrete that I have on me, I'll just put them in the box here. Because we have tons anyway. Right, so what are we doing now? We were gonna um, do some stuff with oil, I think. As I recall. Let's see, that part is not in radar, but do we care? Not really. Oh, we care about the trains though. I wonder why that train ran out of fuel, because they should all be on a timer that gives plenty of time to get fuel. Really confused about that. Seems really odd to me that that would happen. Okay, so where is this train? It's here. Okay. Oh wow, that's full, completely full. Hey train, how you doing? Wow. Okay, maybe we need 15 seconds there then. I guess so. Okay, now who else has run out of fuel? Okay, down here. I guess anything up here is really taking a beating from this fuel situation. It's pretty rough. Maybe I should just change them to all. Be 15 seconds. I think I will. I think I'll change them all to 15 seconds. Eh. Heading the trees. But yeah, now we need to really start getting lubricant made and because that's going to be one of the necessary ingredients for future stuffs and things. Oh, and apparently I don't have any lights with me anymore. Sad times. Here, I'll change you. Change it to 15. Oh, it's easier to type it. Oh, I already did change this one. Okay. Give you some uh, tasty trees too to eat, chomp on. All right, let's go through the trains. It's the first one. Do 15. It's funny how some of them, how it's, how it's so like close. That's what I find really strange. It's like that close that five less seconds of waiting gets you exact amounts of coal to run out. Um, but it's obviously been a slow burn because um, it's been a while. Okay. Petroleum. Okay. Sulfuric acid. Okay. Copper. Okay. And then you are our lovely, lovely ship. Okay. I'm really surprised that it like makes that much. I mean, we did get the stack bonus as well. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Wait, what? There's more? Okay. Um, I guess I need to just let's grab some coal from here. There's an another one out here. This looks like, what does it say? One? One. Okay, I thought it said two for a second there. Okay. Okay. Now then, we are back and we can now focus on getting the proper oil stuff set up. We do have water in this pipe, which is great because we need it for doing advanced oil processing. So we're just going to change them all over 
and soon we are going to be getting all three products. Now, the key part of this process that really messes people up, especially if you're a new player, is that it produces three products. You have to get rid of all three of them for it to keep on processing. You can't just leave one in there. It's, or otherwise it'll just back up in the pipes. You've got to get rid of all three. That's one of the most important things to know about oil. Okay, so now these, we're going to put these in uh, making lubricant first. <clears throat> and then those are going to go to a jar. Where? Here? Sure. Why not? And then we can connect these jars to the pull as we see fit. And that way we can get a line and see how much is in each. Even if we're far away, we can mouse over this thing and see what's there. So <clears throat> our primary need is going to be getting lubricant from heavy oil. But uh, once we have enough, uh, we're going to need to do something else with it. So let's put in like six of these for now. Then we can put in the maker for the, um, uh, and this is where we're going to need to tap into some of those lines, by the way, we're going to make cracking that converts solid fuel to, or no, heavy oil, sorry, to light oil. Okay. It's, oh, Oh, no, 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 no. Just erase all that, please. Okay. We need to do this. Sure. Okay. Yep. So here we need to do a pump that it has a condition on it. Really important to have that condition. We'll hook it up first. We'll get that in a second. So we're going to say if heavy oil so this is basically like an overflow valve in a bathtub if it's greater than those tanks can hold 25,000 so if it's greater than 20,000 then overflow the bathtub okay so we're going to connect this up to these power poles. Okay, is this not connected to that? Okay, it is now. Apparently we have zero in the tank. How is that possible? Output full. Ah, we have no light oil or too much light oil. So this is what a lot of new players see and they're like, oh my God, what happened? Help. Right. So the main thing you do with light oil, there are two main things. You can either make solid fuel out of it, and it is the most efficient oil to make solid fuel out of, or you crack it, just like these guys. You crack it into petroleum, though, instead. So what we're going to do is um, put this over here, and again, we are going to use a pump condition on this. Now I have seen, and it used to be fashionable in Factorio land to use a condition of, uh, if this greater than that, if that less than that, but I don't like doing that because that actually will jam in certain situations. So that is not my favorite method of using that. Oh, whoops. We forgot to do this thing. We forgot to connect it. Okay. So I use a more proven method, something that will never jam on you. And it has to do with looking at levels of, um, you know, if, uh, oh, I forget which levels I use now. Oh my gosh. Um, but it's, uh, let me see if I can remember it as we're going to put it in here because you want to almost always crack it almost always. And I think, um, a lot of it has to do with when you get your rocket parts going, cause you're going to need it to make rocket fuel later. So let's take the petroleum and that is going to have to shimmy on down over here. Nope. Let's see. We'll 
just get this moved on that way. So right now we can crack all of it because we're not doing anything else with it. But later on, when we need to do other things with it, we will definitely change our minds. Most of the things that you're going to need are going to be petroleum. Look at how much we have. Zero. We can't even do a single, you know, flush toward um, the plastic or the sulfuric acid right now. It's just not a thing. Um, I'll put in a couple more of these uh, setups here. Of course, this one doesn't need the pump. The pump controls in general connections there. Okay, we have... Okay, so the most we have is our light oil at 10,000. Now, so far, we haven't really had a, an overriding need to make solid fuel. Um, that might change, though, uh, especially with our energy needs down here. I forgot to put in the rest of uh, the uh, different uh, steam engines and stuff. So let's see. How is this looking? It's at 12k right now. Why are these not working? Oh! Oh yeah. Mm, yeah, I forgot. They need... They're set up wrong. Completely wrong. So we're going to do that. The piping is completely wrong on these, so we need to delete all of them. I was like, why aren't they looking like they're doing anything? It's because they're not. That is the key thing. They are not doing anything. So, uh, I'm going to move this just slightly up. And we'll do this and that. And get in our side to sidey thingies. Let me copy this over and then we can copy we can do every two on the power poles okay that's good all right so let's get these going i just spam a whole bunch of them um, if you're having some issues, you can, I don't know what issues you would have, <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Let's get water transferred here as well. We can use this water to sneak that on through. Okay. So that's going to go down now soon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete these ones. We'll redo the circuit condition. I need to control V and get this thing sorted out. Okay, change the recipe now. Heavy to light. And then this one gets to be the pump. with the circuit condition of if the tank has more than 20,000 then you you then you shove stuff toward it and that's not right okay that i have to change on the other one as well because that's going to start to hmm, yep totally messed up uh, oops. Forgot to account for the space between them. There we go. This is going to be much better. Hooray. So, but I, we could think about using solid fuel. Solid fuel has a much greater fuel value, as I recall. Let's see what it actually is. It is 12 megajoules versus coal is, drum roll, please. Where is coal? Hello. Oh, maybe it's just, yeah, it's four. 
12 versus 4. So my, we might actually want to make some solid fuel, especially for distribution in the trains um, and anything that's burning, like the, uh, the smelters. That's probably a good idea to put it out here instead of using all of our coal for that. I don't know where else we're supposed to get coal. That's a question I have. Okay, uh, now we want to choose new stuff. We Let's go get our production science packs. We need dredgers, so we should be able to make those and see, maybe see what they give us. I don't know if they're gonna give us the titanium or they're gonna give us things like iron and, and copper, but we'll have to see. I am a bit worried about running out of coal because we need it, we absolutely need it for plastic. Plastic has no substitutes, so you have to use coal for that. But for all the other burner things that we do, we don't need coal. We can use um, the uh, solid fuel. Okay, let's get these guys put in here. There we go. Okay, so that's complete. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Again? Dude. It's becoming a full-time job chasing down these trains. If only we had electrics. <laughs> uh, such is the situation in Sweden land, the beautiful land of trains. So nice. All right. That makes me want to really want to switch now. Okay. We got purple science already. Wow. Okay. We could put in, well, we could actually put this in. This has a hundred megajoules of value. It's solid fuel plus light oil. Let's see. That's actually a lossy process because 12 solid fuel will get you 12, 120 megajoules, not even counting the cost of the light oil. So that's not great. Um, this we need for our solar areas. We could look into nuclear power. I think that's, would be great for power. Um, we don't need these train bridges. Sure. Um, electric engines, lasers. Sure. Breaking force. We don't need. Lab research speed, sure. We already have way too many labs, which are not being used. We don't really need research speed, but it's okay. It'll be fine. Okay, so where where are we? What are we doing right now? Kind of like, I guess we should go on a journey, figure stuff out, but I can put down some of those new shiny fangled newfangled thingy thingies. So what do we need for those thingies, the dredgers? A hundred landfill and a hundred lead plate. Okay. So we can get the lead plate by raiding these particular thingies. And landfill comes from these guys, which Okay. How big are those stacks? Okay, we need another pump jack. Oh, I forgot that I, I'm actually making one. Don't really need that. I'll grab a couple more. I'll grab the stack and then put them back. I think that's easiest. Okay, that's more. So here, have them back. Have them all back. I don't know what the production of these things is, like how much is needed or anything like that. So I guess we'll just have to see. So right now we have only one spot that we have found on the map that is remotely thinking about being dredged. Let's go over here and see what we can find in that area. Put down um, another, how many solar panels do we have? A few. 
So that's good. We also need batteries. Should we make our battery? I think we should make our battery maker thingy and let accumulators build up and that kind of thing. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so I... Our battery is different. Let's find out. Batteries. Hello. Lead plate, copper plate, and sulfuric acid. Okay. So they are slightly different. Um... Let's see. Can put them... Actually, let's leave a little bit of space because this area is getting a tiny bit crowded. Let's see. One, two, three. I think it's just all these rocks that are annoying here. Okay. And... Oh, we need... We don't need this. We need the chemical plant. <clears throat> So batteries. So we need to have a kind of thing like this. And then we have our thingy. Copy this. Put that there. Put that there. And then out comes the batteries. So I usually make 12 of these. I don't know why. I've been making them in 12s for a very long time. So that's 6 and 12. We'll leave a little bit of space there. Okay, there we can have batteries, which we'll take on to the mall. But firstly, we want to get our copper plate here. And then the lead plate. Which is over here. Actually. Does that go that far? No, of course not. Why would it do that? That would be silly. That would be so totally silly. Why the heck would it do that? Okay, I think what I want to do here with this is... I was thinking about putting... Uh, I don't know, this is a bit irregular, but... I can put this as a corner there. And then... Actually, I would rather have it... Uh, a space away from this. So that it's easier to um, space out and such. Let's get this here. Okay. Okay, batteries are being made. Uh, I think what I'll do here is I'll copy one to this side out of the pairs. So we have more belt storage and it's not all on one side. Okay, cool. So that means we can just take this all the way to our mall, which is over there. And we need to put it on this belt here. Okay. 
That's fine. Dude, stop that thingy. Okay. So now we can get some accumulators. That's very tasty. Let me grab a couple of these batteries and start making a few. I guess... Hmm. I'm kind of wondering whether I should put them on my... Oh, we don't even have the thing yet. Oh. Okay. Whether I should put them on the small islands or should I just save them for uh, when we have... Oh. That's not great. Or should we... Oh god, my brain is not working anymore. So should we save them for only the solar panel arrays? That's what I was going to say. Or put them on the small islands? Oh. Need several batteries, I guess, to work. Five. Whoops. Should I just split them evenly? I'll go ahead and grab some more lights as well. I feel like we have a whole base of lights to put down and it's going to take a few. Lamps. Technically lamps, but they actually emit light. Or they simulate light emission, maybe. It's a better way of putting that. Let's not get overly technical. It's not helpful. So, we can... Okay, so then now they're actually coming on the line, which is great. I think I might want to get, like, one more stack of these guys. And put in these rocks. All right. We haven't been building a lot of rails. That's the only problem with the current situation there. But it's okay. All right, I'm going to put the copper into these areas. We really have not needed a lot of copper, that's for sure. It's been a bit amusing. Okay, so let's give you this. And I guess the question is, do we make the solid fuel? Mm, I want to see what those C-mount uh, dredgers give us. That would seem to be of primary interest to me. That's these dredging platforms. We have a little bit of fuel. We can pick up more in the, the port here. Uh, let's get a bit more. Like, sure, a whole box. That should be good. Okay, I think I want to head out for the left side, the west side of the map, and see what we can find there. I kind of wish you could like set a, a journey like you can in Lost Ark with just alt click. And you can be left hands free in sailing there and have a cup of tea and all the things. Really? You had to do this now. What happened to me telling you to wait there for several more seconds? I'm actually not understanding why this is happening. Do, are, have we run out of fuel here? Is there no coal? There isn't any there. So there is something wrong here. Oh god, why do I do this to myself? Okay, that's my bad. Probably copied it and it didn't copy correctly or something else happened. Let's see. Let's see what's going on up here. And we'll plant a few more solar uh, radar um, chunks or mechanisms so that it keeps on scanning. Come on, we're looking for a landmass. Let's go.
Okay, there it is. Ah, yes, here we go. I think we don't really need to explore these too much. I think we can just plop our radar and be good for the most part. And then let the factory work and whatnot and see if we can find stuff. Oh, whoops. What is this? Stone. Okay, that doesn't help us a lot, for sure. Okay. Let's plop this. Go. This is bizarre. What is this? I can't move. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. Let's try that again. Oopsies. Why didn't it click? Yeah, I kind of wish we could have gotten the hovercraft, but I have no idea where I'm supposed to find this titanium at all. Um, let me look and see if there are any other seamounts that I can see. Just that one, wow. That's such a strange thing. Um, I'm told there are other radars as well that maybe can help us find... Do we have any of those? Not yet. Let's see if that's in our team menu anywhere. No, oh, whatever it is, it's not called a radar. Let's see. Can we look here? Seismic scanner. Ah, there we are. Connected land masses. Okay, how does that even help us? Hmm. I don't see how that would help us because we can already see these tiny land masses with just a radar. So I don't see any point in putting a seismic, a seismic scanner on there. All right, what do we got over here? That's a very colorful island. Doesn't seem to be very big either. Oops. Oh, that's tiny. Yeah. Well, maybe there'll be something better on this one. Let's go kind of toward the south end of this island and then put a radar there since that one's going to scan the north end of that one. This is a big place. Well then. Really big. This is like a new continent. Okay, my curiosity is peaked. Let's put in a thingy there. Eh. How, man? Okay, there we go. It's surprisingly easy to get caught by these things. Surprisingly easy. Hmm. New research has been done. 
Gosh, the research sound is very low. I'm surprised by that, but it's probably the other settings that I have. Because I don't like the UI sounds generally. I think they're terrible. Um, I do like the uh, the research sound, but the other ones like the swishes and clicks and all of that stuff that should never have been added to the game. Yeah, not a fan. Probably you can tell by the way I'm talking about it. Just slightly. Wait, what's going on over here? Oh, it's nothing. Oh no, it's nothing. It's actually nothing. I guess I'm gonna have to drive around again and give some accumulators to these uh, outposts so that I can um, run the radar day and night. This is a very, very large landmass. I didn't think we would be able to find anything this big at all. This might be a good place to move our production to if we have any kind of resources around this place or in this place. I'd be very curious to see what we have here. But uh, this looks like a, an amazing place. It looks like even maybe bigger than our original island, potentially. Oh, whoops, okay. I was surprised the robots reached that far. It's a bit shocking. Shocking good, shocking good. Any sea mounts around here? I don't see any. This is huge. It is actually bigger than ours. Wow, that's a massive island. I'll go ahead and put one out here and then I'll leave it. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Okay, good. I think that should be enough to start scanning. Like, we've had, we have three, four radars on this continent. Seems legit. Seems like enough. So I will go and. find the next area. Where are we going to look? Maybe here-ish? So we'll just go into fog of war territory before we turn back northward. So that we can kind of uncover the most map possible. This is an interesting journey, I gotta say. Oh my gosh, and we have completely run out of time. I'm sorry about that. My goodness, we are way, way out. Must have been all the cool stuff we've been doing today. So as we explore the sea, I want to say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.